Stand by. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Ford's got problems. Yep. It all comes down to a few things I've been trying to figure it out. Uh, open hood. Anyway, get the hood up, I'll show you. Well, anyway, had issues with which some of it's probably pretty evident to tell this coal's bad. Anyway, it's leaking, but that's the side's point. But anyway, the deal with uh, with what's happening is it would stumble and cough and it didn't run right. Well, I figured out I wasn't getting 12 volts of the coal. Remedied that problem. Okay. Well, anyway, somebody's put a new brain box on it. This is before I got it. They put a new distributor in it. They put a new coal on it. All this bunch of stuff. Well, anyway, I had it running and it started again. I'm not putting up with it. I'm tired of fooling with it. Let me show you, I'm going to show you exactly how you fix this little problem and how you fix it in just a matter of a few minutes. It's pretty easy. I hope my air cleaner clears. <laughs> We're going to find out. But let's see. Right here's how you fix it. You go and you buy this, which my air cleaner I don't think is going to clear it. I don't know. I don't know how far it's going to stick up out there, but it's a it's a GM type distributor for it. it. Should fit right in. Let's see. Get a guess of where it's going to sit. It's going to sit in there. Yeah, it might accidentally clear. I don't know. If it don't, we'll have to cross that bridge when we get there. But that's what I'm going to do. And as you, most of you know, you get two plugs in there. One's a tack lead and one's your battery positive 12 volt. And crank a truck and drive off. That's what we're going to do. So, hmm, September 13. Not bad. But anyway, you get me a half inch wrench, set of wire, wire strippers. Because all I need is to get that distributor out, which is take a half inch hold down out. Take, excuse me take uh, unplug it right there they've got it hooked to the darn um, fuel line but anyway unplug it because that distributor probably is good I'll keep it for a good spare I don't know if it is good or not but uh, anyway um, brain box over here just a matter of clipping the wires loose on it that's the simplest thing to do is just cut you can see where I patched in right there I done that butt connector with two wires sticking out of it. you see how crappy that looks I did that for a test to see if this thing would work and just kind of loop de loop the wire over and across it runs around the back of the air cleaner there you can probably see it sticking up but anyway that was just a, a test test feed to see what happened whether it would work and well you know me and my test and stuff sometimes it stays that way <laughs> but anyway I still wasn't satisfied with exactly how it run. But the only other thing that I can really think of, if this doesn't cure it, like I said, this coal is like coated in like oil. It's real greasy, as you can see, it's coated in oil. And, um, well, the valve cover right there, as you can see, it's dry. Everything's dry. There's no oil slung nowhere else except for that coal. So I'm sure the coal's the problem, been the problem all along. But. You know, like I said, that coal right there, that particular coal is very expensive. So, we're not going to use that coal. We're just going to replace the whole damn distributor and be done with it. Yepers. I just hope it clears from my plug wire. Or, or from my, uh, yeah, from my air cleaner. We'll find out anyway. I'm going to get that jerked out of there. Well, boys and girls, I've got distracted 15 to 20 times trying to put this in. So, anyway. If dog rabbit, you know the old saying, if the dog hadn't stopped the shit, he'd caught the rabbit. Well, that's what we're dealing with here. If dog rabbit, if I've got the distributor point, the rotor pointing the right way, if I put the plug wires back where they belonged in relation to that, if I've got the amount of power I need going to it, if well, I can keep on ifing all day, but anyway, we've got a all we've got left to do is to. Um, We've got some wires and stuff, as you can see, where I've clipped loose, and we've got some stuff that still needs to be uh, terminated correctly, but for testing purposes, that's which is exactly what we're doing. We're testing. We're not going to leave any of this like this. I need to do that, and it would probably be smart to snip, if you can see, we're killing the brain box just because... I think it's actually good. Anyway, I'm going to clip that and then I'm going to try to start it. Okay, get out the Arkansas emergency brake. The Arky emergency brake. Yeah, 63 Impeller is an Arky emergency brake. Anyway, 
let's uh, climb in here and see if it'll run. I cut the, the Dura Spark 2 ignition box loose from it. Electronic control module. I cut it loose. As far as I'm concerned, a brain box. Just to keep some uh, one of y'all from going, that's a Dura Spark 2 ignition module. I don't care what it's called. We call it a brain box. Without it, the truck just sort of shits its pants and won't run. <laughs> kind of like it was doing. Question is whether we get fire. We ain't gonna get no pedal pumping video on this. We're gonna just kind of aim it out the, the windshield, see if any fire flies out of the carburetor. It may start up and run. Let's we'll see. I'm giving it two pumps. Timing's way high. Let's get out and back it down. I kind of figured it would be. It was a guess. I don't know. I guessed. I may have to pull the distributor back out. I don't know. Let's, eh, we moved it quite a bit. <laughs> That's what kind of what you do. At least we ain't got it 180 out, do we? Let's see. You've done something right. It's close. It's close, boys and girls. I think it's a slight bit low, actually. As we said, I think the timing's a little low on it. But, you know, I just sort of cranked it, you know. <laughs> let's see, let's move it about yay. I don't know. I got to get warmed up, Bill, set the time on it. But get it close. So that's what matters. Get it close enough to run. Started pretty fair. I know it ain't good on it and it ain't cold per se. It ain't cold out here today. It's picking up and running pretty far. It's what I was trying to fix because it'd get about, you'd stick your foot in it about like this. Instead of taking off, it hit about 2,000 and start popping and cracking. Seems to run really good with that distributor action. Sounds not too bad. sounds a whole lot better my friends but when it comes down to these DuraSpark ignitions I mean it's it's the point you've got one that's this truck here there's already some oddnesses with this truck for one the plugs cut off we've got wires running it ain't supposed to be feeding that box okay this over here has been packeried the uh, which this may be correct but I don't think it is the voltage regulator is molded down here Mine's over yonder. I've never seen one down here. It, it's just a bunch of weird crap with this one. <coughs> I like the idea of this much better. I just hope my breather will fit back on. I'm pretty sure it will. But anyway, I'm going to try to find the timing light. Yeah, I don't remember where I put it. I've also got to cut this thing off and try to walk it around and find the dang timing mark on this one. It's down. I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see it. You can see the crank fully. I can't see, but there is a mark, a pointer down there. Anyway, I gotta find the mark on the crank and mark it, so on the balancer and mark it. So, anyway, let's get it done, set the time on this thing, and go on. Can't remember what this sets at either. I'm gonna scratch my head. So for some reason, I'm wanting to say, I'm wanting to say they set at six, six or it's either six or sixteen. I don't know. I'll tell you that here in a little bit. What a 400 sets at because I am gonna have to go look in the book. I can't remember. I guess if I put a timing light on, I could probably tell you about how it's running compared to this, that, and the other, but that's side's point. Um, let's play with it a little bit. That's too high. See, it starts jerking. I'm going to be willing to bet that right in there is probably going to be right. Fire to middle. Question is, real test is test drive. Boys and girls, that sounds pretty darn wicked right there. It sounds good. A little jumpy though, if you can see her in the brake lines, you see the wobble. A little jumpy. Let me uh, back it off higher. Boys 
girls away. This thing seems to be peppy. Hell, I may put one of these in old blue truck. Well, boys and girls, you just seen a redneck um, use timing line. You seen me cut the truck off and mark the uh, balancer and do all that good happy crap, right? You did see that, right? I'm sure it's tight. Sounds good to me. Um, I'll take it and test drive it and see if it gets in. It starts pinging. If it starts pinging, I'll back it off. I'm gonna adjust it that way. I'm not even gonna put a light on this thing. Um, you know, it's highly probable that. The, timing change stretched in this thing too so let's go see what the exhaust sounds like see if I got it too high God almighty boys and girls that sounds a whole lot better you can't even hear this thing run now it made that big a difference in it Lord of mercy it made a difference in it well, anyway let's terminate these wires I'm gonna take this thing and drive it well, we took it down the road. Runs really good. I tweaked the timing a little bit just based off the road test. I left the camera sitting here at the house, so you didn't get to see it. I stopped at the church, tweaked the timing, went down the road, come back, stopped the church, tweaked the timing, went down the road, and come back. Done it three times until I got it where I want it. And it seems to run really good, so Let's see how it starts up. Bump key, baby. Bump key. Yeah. I <laughs> think I know somebody up in Mass. Yep, he's crazy. Canuck. Yeah, I think y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> the old crazy Canuck78, I think is his actual YouTube name. I just call him an old asshole. Old Chris, but anyway. I got you. I got your damn bump key right here, boys. I got your bump key. There's your bump key on a Ford. How you like it? But... Well, I ain't gonna say we didn't put a little Chevrolet in it to make it happen. But anyway, let's get in the house. I had enough of this crap for today. Feels pretty good in the sun. It's cold in the shade. I need to change oil and transmission fluid in that old beast. I still ain't done it. Yeah, I'll do it eventually. It's not like in dire straits or anything yet. It will be before, you know, if I wait a month to do it, it'll be to the point that uh, we're gonna start worrying. But it's just now hitting oil change intervals, so. I can. I don't care to drive it 500 over. 500 over would buy me two. That'd buy me two weeks if I don't get around to it. It's supposed to snow tonight. You know, not a whole lot. Oh, they're in a county money. Undercover warrant guy. But anyway, it's supposed to snow tonight like an inch. It's supposed to snow tomorrow like an inch, which ain't nothing, but it makes a darn mess, you know. Everybody's like, snow, snow. That ain't nothing. That's a sprinkle. Well, it is, but it makes everything muddy. It makes everything a disaster. It's just freaking aggravating, so... Anyway, y'all know how that goes. I've rambled and rambled and rambled. You're tired of listening anyway, so let's go in the house. See ya.